Greetings, everyone. This is Steam Team Read WK, CC Trainer Ling, here to bring you another retro review from past seasons of The Loud House. In today's video, we take a look at the Season 2 episode where the kids work together to make things right for their dad, even though what happened to their dad had nothing to do with them, at least not initially. Today's episode is titled, Job Insecurity. First, we'll discuss the plot, and then my thoughts and critiques with my final score. So, let's get right into it. In this episode, the kids believe they got their dad fired from his job as an IT specialist, and when they see him working in a restaurant, they try to secretly get him a new IT job, and they successfully mentor Mr. Grouse in the field of computers so he can pass the job interview on their dad's behalf. However, Mr. Loud reveals he actually quit his old job in order to pursue his dream of becoming a chef, and the kids manage to get their dad's dishwashing job back, and with a little more intervention, their dad is promoted to co-chef at the Aloha Comrade, another step closer to achieving his dream. Well, that concludes the plot of the episode, so now we come to my thoughts and critiques. The one thing I will always respect about the second season is how the series changed up the status quo in certain episodes like this one, and the payoff has been long-lasting ever since. We find out in this episode, Lin Sr. always had the dream of becoming a chef and owning his own restaurant. His love for cooking was established during the first season while he still worked as an information technologist, assuming at the time that was the only job he would ever have in the series going forward. Then his passion for cooking became more prominent during the first half of the second season, and then his character arc of moving away from full-time IT to full-time cooking began during the second half of the same season, with this arc finally concluding one season later. Not many characters on the show have a consistent storyline that carry from one season into another, so like I mentioned in my review of Cooked, I give credit to the writers for sticking to this change in Lynn Sr.'s character. But of course, the award for best character, or actually characters, of the episode goes to the kids. They were the biggest highlights of the episode, and it's for the same reason I've talked about many times before. Rather than fighting over the stupidest things or not being able to get along or agree upon anything, they worked together for the benefit of their dad and they weren't sniping at each other. I will always appreciate the episodes where they're all on the same page and do what they feel is the right thing. You do feel bad for them because not only do they run down a list of past instances where they ruined a lot of things for their dad, but think about how the girls behaved on Take Your Daughter to Work Day in the episode A Novel Idea, which was kind of retooled in this episode as Take Your Kids to work day. They acknowledged how they don't make things easy for their dad knowing how much he does for them. They really did feel guilty and truly believed their rowdy behavior got him fired. So they thought they could make it up to him by surprising him with a new IT job and then terminate his dishwashing job on his behalf so he would no longer have to do something they believed he didn't really want to do. However, their dad reveals his change of jobs was something he wanted to do, but because Lola angrily burnt the proverbial bridge during a phone call with the restaurant owner, which resulted in and their dad getting fired, this effectively validated the kids' earlier belief that they were directly responsible for causing their dad his job, creating a self-fulfilling prophecy to the story. Still, their dad reassured them that their hearts were always in the right place, they were not burdens in his life, and that he can always find another job. In the end, they not only got their dad's dishwashing job back, but they pulled together to help run the Aloha Comrade while Sergei was out of commission. No bickering, no fighting, unless trying to get their hands on a breakfast sandwich counts, and best of all, they got got their dad promoted to co-chef after impressing everyone, including Sergei, with his cooking. So yeah, everything may have been a complete misunderstanding, but if it hadn't been for the kid's involvement and Lola indirectly breaking Sergei's arm, their dad's dream of climbing the culinary ladder faster than expected may not have happened. I still don't understand how chefs begin their training by starting out with dishwashing, but whatever works. Anyway, some of the other highlights of the episode included the kids trying to pass themselves off as their dad in preparation for the job interview, with none of them being even remotely qualified to pull off the charade, and teaching Mr. Grouse how to operate and fix computers. The way they attempted to teach him played out exactly the way you would expect. An old man who knows nothing of modern technology taking everything very literally, like emptying the trash on the computer, and trying to understand there's more than one type of mouse, keyboard, and chip. It's not only impressive how the kids were able to give this guy a crash course on computers, and seeing him retain that knowledge as we see in future episodes, and having him successfully get a job in the field of IT, again, as we see him working said job in future episodes, but it's also amazing how he's been passing himself off as Lin Loud Sr. at that computer job ever since. I don't know how illegal that is, but you have to admit, it is kind of funny. All right, I think it's time to log off from this review and start booting up my final thoughts. Overall, this episode was an absolute delight. It was very down to earth, and it was the kids not fighting among themselves and working together for a change that just made the entire episode. They may have gotten their dad's situation all wrong, and their 
actions technically proved their earlier point about how they were the cause of his problem, but they had good intentions in what they wanted to do and did what they felt was the biggest favor they could do for the man who takes care of them, and more importantly puts up with their craziness. Lin Sr.'s character arc officially begins in this episode, and we all know what happens later on. Throw in some comedic moments with Mr. Grouch learning about computers, and you have one of the best parent-child episodes of the entire series. With that said, I give Job Insecurity a 9.5 out of 10. Well folks, that concludes my review of Job Insecurity. I'll leave you with one more highlight moment. Lenny talked about Russian food, and very fluently, I may add, and the kids were all like, what? Yeah, I felt the same way. It was something you'd never expect Lenny to say, but always remember what she said in It's a Loud, 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 Loud House. There's more in her head than just air. Gotta love those many intelligent moments from Lenny. They're so out there, but they're oh so entertaining. Well, anyway, as far as the rest of the episode goes, what did you guys think of it? Love it? Hate it? Something you would add? Change? Keep it as it is? Let me know in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe to this channel for the latest Loud House content. That's going to do it for me. I'll catch you guys for the next video, but until then, this is Steam Team WK, CC Trainer Ling, signing off. Peace out, home slices.